Okay, in this video I'll be showing you how to um, create a selection mask inside of GIMP. So what a mask is, it allows you to hide areas of the layer um, that you, you don't want to be seen. So this can come in handy um, for things such as texturing and a lot of other things. So what I've got in front of me is just a very random shape, which I'll be using for the demonstration. Um, and now the first thing you want to do is uh, select the areas that you want to be masked off. So to do that you can select this icon called the fuzzy select tool and click on the layer there. So as you can see I've got this layer selected. So the selection has now selected uh, all the areas apart from you know the shape itself, the inside of the shape. So it's selected the borders. Um, but what it's actually done is it's selected this background, this white background, so it's, it actually hasn't selected the shape itself. So if you were to go mask this off now, it's pretty much going to mask off the inside, or I mean the outside, so once you once you say paint in the middle, it's not going to show up. So let me just demonstrate that for you. So right click on this layer, uh, select add layer mask, and make sure you've selected the selection option, and click on add and you can press and hold control shift and a to deselect the selection you've still got the the mask layer there so that's all right so as you can see the background of this mask layer is white whereas the shape is black when it comes to masks okay um the black area will be hidden and the white area will be seen so whenever you're trying to mask something always remember that black won't be seen and why it will be seen. So if then I were to paint on this um, the shape because it is now black right the uh, the selection mask I'm not going to see anything but if I paint on the background I will. So let me demonstrate that. Let me change it to say like a orangey type color select the brush tool and let me go ahead and try and paint on that shape notice you can't see anything but now let me paint outside of that shape and you notice how now I'm able to actually paint and if I were to fill that notice how it's filled around the shape but it hasn't filled the shape itself so what do we have to do well first let me undo a couple of times until that mask selection mask is gone uh, leaving my selection on, I'm now going to press Control i and this is going to invert the selection. So now instead of masking the background, it's going to mask the, um, the shape. So now when I actually paint on the shape, it's going to um, enable me to avoid painting over the edges. So let me do the same process right click on that layer, click add layer mask and make sure selection is still selected click on add and notice a difference now the background is now black and the object itself is now white so anything painted within this space is actually going to show up but in the background it won't so control shift A to deselect and let's go with orange that's alright select your brush tool and now paint within um, now the thing I did there, actually that was a, something you shouldn't do, I painted within the mask itself. So make sure you actually click on the layer itself. And now you can paint and notice how as I move my cursor over the edge, it doesn't show up uh, in the background. And that's how you add selection masks in GIMP.